Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 1st of 2023, well, it is titled The Seventh World of Trappist One. So what do we see here? Well, this is a set of planets, or at least the artist's conception of a set of planets that were discovered in 2016 using TRAPPIST. Now, TRAPPIST is the Transiting Planets and Planetesimals Small Telescope, which is located in Morocco and looks for things that transit, meaning that planets that pass in front of their stars as seen from Earth, and that allows the star to dim slightly, giving us evidence that the planet is there without actually seeing the planet directly. Now, based on measurements, this is a system relatively close to Earth in that there are a number of rocky planets here, although they all tend to be very, very close to their star. So here we're getting the view as an artist's conception from the outermost of those worlds and looking in toward the star. Now, the star is a relatively small red star, so it's going to be much cooler than our sun, meaning that even though the outer planets are probably not much further away from their, their star than Earth, they will be much colder. However, some of those inner planets that we see in the sky could be things that are closer uh, to being habitable and something that we will continue to study. So here we see again the artist's conception considering that this one might be a very icy planet right, which is based on the knowledge that we have as to where it is and the size of the planet and where it is located relative to its star we can make a pretty good educated guess as to what a planet might look like. Of course the actual details will be quite different if we ever get a chance to explore the planet directly. But it does give us that kind of view as to what the planet like this might look like. Now we also see again up in the sky, we see the star and we see the other six planets, four off to the upper left of the star, one down to the lower right on the other side of that big rock or ice uh, fixture. And then the, the last one is actually in the process of transiting or eclipsing its star. It's passing directly in front of it. And we can see that would be what would happen when we detect a transit. We would see that the light would dim. And by looking at those patterns over time, we are actually able to determine what the solar system is like, the orbits of the planets, and we can figure out the sizes and masses of the planets and get an idea of what this solar system may be like. Now this is a relatively nearby only about 40 light years away, which is in our own backyard when we speak of uh, other stars and planetary systems, it's very close. So it is a very interesting one to be studied in more detail, and hopefully learn more about these and finally be able to study and perhaps be able to begin to detect atmospheres around these planets, which may give us further indications of life. So that was our picture of the day for February 1st of 2023. It was titled The Seventh World of Trappist One. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.